الله فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي رسول أول الأمر منكم I'm always a reminder for myself an abdul ajis wa da'if wa miskeen wa zalim wa jihad and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah we took a path to be nothing and Allah is the one who determines who is something, not people. People can pick and choose titles and whatever things they want to choose but honour comes from Allah Support comes from Allah to the Holy Presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and flowing through Ulul Amr. So alhamdulillah this way is based on their madad and their support. Those whom receive that madad and support, they are supported. Those whom don't receive that can claim whatever they want and that's from their own imagination. So alhamdulillah this month of Zul Qidah is a reminder that this power, this energy, these blessings, these healings, eh, everybody's in for some understanding. I want to reach to Divine Power, I want to reach to knowledges, I want to reach to healing, to heal myself, heal others. Whatever it is that we're searching for, it comes from Allah And only Allah came into our lives to teach us that if you want to receive that, from Allah then you have to love Sayyidina Muhammad more than we love ourselves. So this month of Zul Qidah is the Divine Mirror preparing us for the holy month of Zul Hajj and the completion of 12 months of journeying. And our life is to efface ourselves, means to remind ourselves, I'm nothing. If Allah wants to raise a status, that's between Allah what He wants to do. My responsibility is to remind myself and others that I'm nothing, nothing and I took a path to be nothing and that Allah's grace and rahmah to dress upon us. Every time this world tries to make us to be something, then it's our obligation to again to efface and to bring ourselves to be nothing, to remind ourselves that in my nothingness I can achieve a, a nearness to Allah and that nearness is the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad and this is the, the beauty of that path. And along the way Allah may send others to insult, intimidate, whatever characteristics they want to exhibit. And that again is the part of the path. In that ocean of nothingness just bringing oneself down that I'm nothing, I'm nothing, reminder for myself that I'm nothing. And as much as we can achieve that nothingness then the reflection of that beatific light and love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad to reflect. We pray that Allah dress us from these lights, bless us from these lights and that keep our life a life of always polishing and cleansing and bringing ourselves to be nothing, reminding ourselves of our nothingness and that inshaAllah Allah reflect that ishq and that love. That love and that ishq no one can stop it. Means when Allah begins to reflect that immense love and ishq of Prophet and what people feel then people on earth they can't stop that just because they feel jealous or want to stop something. It's not in their hands to stop that, means the, the sun shines and the sun always shines and that love always conquers. Means that, that the, the sun doesn't leave you without completely shining upon you. 
whomever faces the sun will be shined upon. Have you ever gone out on a sunny day and the sun says it doesn't like you and just puts a cloud in front of your face and everybody else is getting the sun? Because it's not like dunya, it's not like the nafs of people where they like someone, they talk against them, they don't like somebody, they talk against them. This is the nafs and egos of people and humans and humanity. But that which we're achieving and asking people to move towards is a Divine love that knows no injustice and shines upon everyone. All it takes is that we face that love and that's why the analogy the sun is is the only thing that we understand of eternity that what Allah gave to us an exa- as an example because everything for humans they need an example. So what's faith? Faith is love. You feel it but you, you can't touch it, you know it when, you, when you're in it and the reality of light and divinity is something eternal and the only symbol that we have and the greatest symbol that we have is sunshine, the sun. And if you prepare yourself to gaze upon it, direct yourself to the sunlight, it dresses you completely with no discrimination. There's no injustice in this ishq and this love. There's no egotism and favoritism and liking this one after this one. But whomever faces that Divine love will be dressed by that Divine love. And whom follows the steps of humility and bringing down their badness, practicing in charity and alms and giving and and all these practices that the tariqahs come to encourage and remind humanity, then alhamdulillah they are additionally like they're scrubbing. Already the sun is dressing anyone whom gazes upon it. As the person is whooshing and reflecting and polishing with their zikr, their practices and the different things that they do that Allah has ordered upon them then as if they're polishing their mirror and not only they're just absorbing the light to be purified, to be clean, to be washed for all badness to be taken away but because so that, that establishes one, whomever faces the love of Sayyidina Muhammad teaches and propagates that love must have been extremely dressed by it. So there's no ashiqeen that is not being dressed by the ishq and the love of Prophet For the love of and the light of Prophet is more just and more beautific than that sun. That sun is not even a drop in the comparison of the light and the soul and the reality of Prophet That Allah describes is a rahmah. We would not have sent this light except that it's a mercy for all of mankind, all of creation. As a result means that any, any ashiqeen that has this love and continuously attempting and trying to build that love with Prophet no doubt is being dressed by that love and is a ashiq, is a muhib, is a, is a lover of that reality. And if they're practicing their zikrs, their, their, their the usul and the, their prayers and all that Allah has asked of them, if they're practicing all those then they're actually becoming polished. So not only they're absorbing and cleaning but those whom become polished because they also accomplish what Allah wants from them and a continuous basis doing what Allah has asked of them, they become like polished mirrors. So what happens then? In a polished mirror is facing the sun, it begins to reflect that sunlight and nobody can stop that. There's no, 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 no person on this earth or above this earth that can come in front of that mirror and stop that reflection. And that's Allah's gift, so that's the reality. It's not in the hands of people that when Allah has somebody a muhibbeen and ashiqeen and they're doing what 
has asked of them means they're very polished souls. You like them, you don't like them, you're jealous of them, not jealous of them, doesn't matter for them. It's not in your hands to touch or take or do anything. So the humility is to know that when Allah is sending that light, if that one is also a mirror they're reflecting that light. And why people are drawn to them is because of that reflection. Why people are tuning in to them and trying to follow them is to catch that reflection and that's what's important. It says, that reflection is teaching everyone, come into that light. It loves you with all justice, no injustice in that light. Whether you're big, you're small, you're wide, you're tall, whatever it is that you are, you're light, you're dark, that love dresses everyone. And if you do what Allah asked and do all the practices that Allah is asking from us, then not only you're absorbing but you become polished mirror in which you begin to reflect that love out. And people are drawn to you because of that love. And we've talked before that we live in, in, these, in these worlds and these make-believe cities in which they try to beautify themselves and they beautify the external because inside is empty. True beauty doesn't come from external. External is like a corpse and most of their corpse are like rotting corpse. They, they're dying and they don't know they're dying and they think that the different things that they put upon their dying flesh will hide it from people and trying to keep their youth and keep every type of whatever imagination they have. But this love and this mirror is so powerful that true beauty reflects through it. And that's what makes people to be beatific, means that when they begin to gaze within the light of Prophet move within that ishq, move within that love, live a life of service in which they're struggling to balance their families, their life, their time, their worship, Allah is reflecting through their souls this love. And this love when it comes through your face and comes through the pores of your body and through your heart. It's a beatific heavenly love, it's a beatific heavenly light that attracts all of humanity. There's no one person who can come and, and say something and stop it, it's not in their hands. It's a reflection from Allah's love that when Allah casts His love and begins to send this flow of love, there's no one that can stop it. Not shaitan can even stop it and that's why shaitan doesn't want people to reach to this love. He knows that when these people connect to that satellite, connect to that ish, they achieve the, the nazar and the holy gaze of Allah and the gaze of Prophet then this light begins to reflect from them. And that light guides humanity, that light cures humanity, that light blesses humanity, that light gives hope to humanity and that is uh, everything that shaitan is angry with. And that's why he doesn't want anyone to achieve that for at that stage when they achieve that, what shaitan, shaitan can do in the presence of a reflecting satellite? He can only stop the person from trying to become a satellite and that not even he can do because if Allah has destined a person, no there's nothing that anyone can do if Allah has written for the destiny of that person to achieve. But imagine when that light is shining and glaring from that reality, what is shaitan going to do with that? Even if he moves into the presence of that light, the light of Prophet al-Haq, what Allah gave from Holy Qur'an's dalil that say, when the truth comes falsehood is perishing. How the falsehood of shayateen and every badness and every deceit on humanity or every bad ego can stand in the presence of those lights when they're reflecting, no. So alhamdulillah glad tidings for those whom moving towards the love of Prophet and achieving the love of Prophet And those ashiqeen they always talk good, they think that all the lovers are ashiqeen and all the lovers are like roses in an immense rose garden. They don't spread rumors, they don't talk bad, they don't backbite, 
They don't try to take the light of somebody down hoping that their light will be more beatific and reflecting out. That this light of Prophet is enough for everyone to go around. You don't have to be the only light on earth, you just have to be one of the lights on earth. It means you have to have this love for Prophet is enough for one person to have that ishq and that love. And it can reflect to all of humanity and if everyone came to that love there would be enough love of Prophet for everyone. It's not like a cake on earth that you take one slice and then you're going to take the whole thing so there won't be left for anyone else. It's from Allah's, of, Allah's oceans of abundance. As much as you take, as much as Allah sends and as much as, as if nothing was taken from Allah because Allah's ocean can never be diminished. It's in Allah's azimat, as much as you take from that ocean as if nothing was taken because Allah's ocean never diminishes by any, any creation. So alhamdulillah glad tidings for those who have that love, moving to achieve that love and all the forces on earth trying to stop the person from achieving that love and success to those whom continuously strive, have istiqam, have firmness on their path and not a waswas from the right or waswas from the left stops them and they continue moving to that love, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal azzatam wa yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.